Hi, I'm Scott Wojcik of Wojcik C Casting. Welcome to Inside Casting as part of the Virtual Channel Network. Uh, for me, casting started um, in the mid-90s. Uh, I was an actor, came to New York as an actor 17 years ago, and I started working as an intern at one of the studios that do the classes in town. And one of the casting directors that used their facility uh, was Charles Rosen, met him there. He always used actors as his uh, freelance staff, and I started working for him back in the early 90s. Uh, I, you know, when I first got to the city, I was networking, Back then, you did it a little differently, and working in a casting office was one way that you could do that. Um, so I worked for Charles and a bunch of other independent casting directors, and some of them did theater, some did commercial, some of them did film, and kind of sampled my way through all those folks. And uh, about 12 years ago, wasn't booking enough to feel successful, thought I wanted to stay in the industry, so segued over to a full-time job with uh, Charles and worked with him uh, for a while as an employee, made me a partner about five years ago. Um, and then at the end of 2008, he retired. Uh, I bought the company from him, and now I have a new partner, and she and I together kind of continue the tradition that we started, that was started by Charles 20 years ago. Um, it's definitely part of the, of the point of view that I have. Um, you know, I understand what an actor goes through. I was one, I auditioned for stuff in the city, so I know that process. And uh, my partner, Gail, and I both are ex-performers. So I think we're very um, caring towards the actor. Um, I think we help set up a, a very safe environment for them to audition in. Um, I think we can also speak to production personnel, like directors and musical directors, about um, some of the realities about the amount of material an actor can prepare in a period of time to make sure that they're up for the job and they're you know, showing themselves in their best light. So definitely being an actor, um, informs my opinion as a casting director, but I'm a casting director first. Um, I used to be an actor. Cool. As young as so like second grade, um, I would gather friends and create, we'd kind of uh, do our version of favorite TV shows or movies that were on television. And I used to just organize that and I would of course, I be the director, I'd be the lead, and I'd have my friends around and we would do that during the day and then present it to the school. So for me, I was always casting, I guess. Um, I always enjoyed being in front of the camera or on stage. Uh, that was definitely something that appealed to me from a young age. Um, but I also like to manage, um, you know, my educational background is, is in business. So I merge like the performing side and the business side. Um, but as far as a specific show, uh, no, I don't... Gosh, specific show. Uh, I do remember in high school watching uh, a production of The Elephant Man, uh, the the Broadway production that they had on, on on television, and being you know overwhelmed by that performance. Um, I was always involved in theater, always did it you know through school, community based stuff. So I don't think there was ever a time I didn't want to be involved in the business in some fashion. Um, the business side of it didn't really happen for me until I was in college. And uh, when I was in college, I was going for business um, and was a little sad missing the performing side of things. And there was an administrator at my undergraduate school who said that there's a whole business to the arts, and I never really thought of it that way before. So that was kind of the segue from the performing to the, to the management side. I went to undergraduate school at Bentley College in Waltham, Mass., and I went to grad school at Texas Tech University in Lubbock, Texas. Um, so, and then I've been here for 17 years.